Hello everyone, in this video we will try to learn how to fix the lag issue in Blender video editor. I have opened a Blender video editor here, so I will just import a file which has higher resolution. So let's just, just take this one, oh, let me just take this one. So once it's imported, right, so what I'll, I'll type home button to fix it and then I'll select this and then shift yes to align it to the zero position. This is the video, okay, and then if I play this video, right, if you see it, the frames are getting in red and then it is very much laggy and then let me just set preview range to strip so that it plays the entire video and then if I see right, so how much lag uh, it is happening. So this happens when you have a higher quality video and then you import it so Blender takes it hard time to do computation and then preview that particular video to you so so now the frame rates right it is taking very much see red red mark so we'll try to reduce it how to fix that we'll learn first thing is to create a proxy if you have not enabled proxy right automatically by default so there is an option you can set it to automatically set but i usually prefer to do it manually but you can check my previous video if you want to learn how to enable and disable the proxy that is automatically enable or disable so there are options so to fix this right so what you can do is that you can click this there is an option which we go here and just type here right there is an option which comes up I go to view and there is an option like use proxies it is available but proxy render it let's just change it to 25% so what happens right the image doesn't look that much it, it gets in blurriness and then there is an option or prefetch frames also I'll enable that as well so that it prefetches the forward uh, frames so so that when the player comes right it uh, it is easier to show you so that's what it does some more additional computation to get that prefetch of additional frames so i've enabled these two and then i've changed that uh, proxy render to 25 percent and then let's just play and show you how it looks like so if you see right it's it's working uh, but still if you see it in the lag uh, it is getting in red color and then there's still it's from previous right it's much better but it is still uh, having the lagginess so let's just i'll type n here so that it goes off this and then i'll pause and then there what additionally you can do is right there is another option which we can do is right you go to this playback and then by default right it is set to play every frame that's what it is set to when you play with every frame right so it is it is a bit hot working but it is still slow it is still lagging or so by default it is there so what you have to do is right well, you can select frame dropping so if you select frame dropping right it, it does help in some bit so let me just play now so if you see right it's still uh, getting the frames drop but still it is not working that much so there is option which you can again you can select uh, play sync with audio you can select this as well so whichever you feel right you can select this it, what it does it it does try to reduce the frame rate so if you see right uh, majority of times right i'll use it with audio uh, but uh, if you see right now it's working fine but still having the lags so what additionally you can do is right so there is one more option which you can do is right so what you can do you can just go to this proxy section and then just click on this strip proxy and times it then then to uh, and collapse that particular section so what happens is right, there is an option here what we can do is it right, uh, whichever percentage you want to create a proxy for this one so let me just take the lowest one 25 percent and then this is the quality quality is right it, it doesn't affect with the quality but you want to make it render uh, proxy created fast right so what i will do i'll just do it as one so that it builds proxy very fast and then what i will do i'll just rebuild the proxy so what it does right if i select the rebuild proxy right so it create some time to generate a proxy of this video and then it saves into the particular location where your original file was located so if i go to my original file right this was the file and then this it will have that particular files it will be created let's just wait for some time and then we'll come back for now i'll pause the video and then see 100 percent is completed we'll come back and just show you now if you see right it is about to complete 100 percent got completed proxies has been created so if i go here right now if i play the video right So if you see right, the video is getting played very smoothly. Uh, it doesn't have any lagginess, anything. It is working fine. And then if you see right, the frame rates are also getting very fast moved. So you don't see much of red color there. In between, it, sometimes it flickers, but it, it's okay. But you can, can do editing here. The good thing is about, right? So when you try to render animation, right? It will have the original content what you are setting it here. So it will not affect of your output uh, so when you render right actual video so it will be having the 
this resolution what you are specified so it will not affect anything but it just uh, for working purpose right it is very easier to fix the lag issues and then you can work let me just show you quickly if i render this image right i'll just wanted to show you the quality so i've just clicked on render image and then if you see right the quality it doesn't affect anything so it's just original quality which you will be getting so like this when you render video also right will not lose any quality in the video so this is what how you can fix the lag issue so when you are working with high resolution or large files so you usually see blender getting lag issues so this is how you can fix the lag issue that's all i wanted to cover in this video thank you all for watching bye bye